al the great event. With the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. Beware of the time when the inevitable and the promised event shall come to pass. There is no denying its coming to pass. This event shall be lowering the status of some and exalting that of others. This will take place when the earth shall be shaken with a violent shaking, and the mountain shall be completely shattered, so that they shall all be reduced to particles of dust scattered about. And at that time you shall be sorted out into three distinct categories. First, those that are blessed, how lucky the blessed will be. And then those that are wretched, how miserable the condition of the wretched will be. And third, those that are foremost in faith, they are by all means the foremost in the hereafter. It is they who have really achieved nearness to their Lord. They shall abide in gardens of bliss. A large party of them will hail from the early believers, while a few of them will hail from the later ones. They will be in the garden, seated on couches inlaid with gold and precious jewels. They will be reclining thereupon and sitting face to face. Their young sons will go round about them, who will remain as young as ever carrying goblets and shining beakers and cups full of pure and clean drink. They will get no headache or giddiness from their drinks, nor will they be inebriated and talk nonsense, and carrying such fruits as they choose, and with flesh of birds exactly to their taste. And there will be present fair houris with lovely large eyes. Chased like pearls, well guarded and well preserved. Such shall be the reward of their good deeds. There they will hear no idle talk, no sinful speech. But all that they hear on all sides will be good and pure words of salutation. Peace be, peace be. Those that are blessed, how lucky the blessed will be. They shall abide amidst the land of thornless sidra, the low tree, a symbol of bliss, and in the garden of clustered bananas, and in extended shades, and near water falling from heights, and amidst abundant fruit, the season of which is not limited, and they are never forbidden, and they will have noble spouses. Verily we have made them women excellent and have raised them into a special new creation and have made them virgins pure and undefiled they are the loving ones of their husbands suiting to their ages and matching them in every respect they are meant for the blessed ones this group will consist of a large party from the earlier people of islam and a large party from the later ones but as for those that are wretched, how sad will be the plight of those that are wretched. They shall dwell in the midst of painfully scorching winds and scalding water, and under the shadow of black smoke, which is neither cool to refresh, nor honorable, nor of any good to please at all. They, of course, lived a life of ease and abundance before this in the present world but they persisted in extreme sinfulness. And they were wont to say, Is it that when we are dead and reduced to dust and bones, we shall then be raised to life again? And is it that our fathers of yore shall also be raised to a new life with us? Say, most surely the earlier people and the later ones shall all be gathered together at the fixed time of an appointed day. Then, O oh, you that have gone astray and cried lies to the truth, you will certainly eat of the zakum tree, a symbol of agony, and will fill your bellies with it. Then you shall drink over it boiling water. 
lapping it down like the lapping of the camels that suffer from insatiable thirst. This will be there of the wretched ones, entertainment on the day of requital. It is we who have created you the first time. Why do you not then realize the reality of the resurrection? Have you given thought to the sperm drop, your life germ, that you emit? Is it you that created yourselves, or are we the creator of it? It is we that have ordained death for all of you, and we cannot be stopped from it, from replacing you with beings similar to you, or from evolving you into a form which is unknown to you at present. And you certainly know of the first evolution, then why do you not reflect? Have you ever given thought to that which you sow? Is it you that cause it growth, or is it we who are the growers? If we, so pleased, we could reduce it to chaff before it is ripe and ready to be harvested, and then you would remain lamenting and talking bitterly, and saying, Surely we have been left indebted. Rather, we have been left with nothing. Indeed, we are finished. Have you ever given thought to the water that you drink? Is it you who bring it down from the clouds, or is it we who rain it? If we so pleased, we could make it brackish. Then why do you not give thanks? Have you given thought to the fire which you kindle? Is it you who produce the tree for kindling it into fire, or is it we the producer of it? We have made it a source of admonition for the people and a means to live upon for the needy and the wayfarer. Glorify, therefore, the name of your Lord, the incomparably great. As to me, I swear by the places and times of the revelation of the portions of the Quran, and behold, it is a mighty oath, if you only care to know, that this is most surely a holy Quran bestowing bounteous blessings of God in a book well preserved in all its purity. No one can achieve true insight into it except those who are purified by leading righteous lives. It is a revelation from the Lord of the worlds. Is it this divine discourse that you are the deniers of? And do you make the denial of it your lot? Why then, when the soul of the dying person reaches the throat, and you are at that time looking on helplessly, and when we are nearer to him than you, though you do not see, why then, if you are not governed by any authority and are not to be requited, you do not bring it, the soul, back to the body of the dying person, if you are truthful in your claim of being independent of the supreme authority. And if he, the departed person, belongs to those who have attained nearness to God and are his chosen ones, then he will have happiness, comfort, and plenty, and a garden of bliss. And if he, the departed one, belongs to the blessed people, then it will be said of him, Peace be upon you ever, O you of the blessed people. But if he belongs to those who deny the truth and are steeped in error, then he will be offered boiling water for an entertainment and burning in hell. Verily, this fact is a perfect certainty, not merely a certainty by inference or sight. Therefore, glorify the name of your Lord, the incomparably great.